Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to play by Christian Martinez from it's two players and 25 minutes and 10 plus. Here we are with the forest and the sea. Or two Stone Age people racing with each other to make the more megaliths first. So we need to make three megaliths to win the game. Here is our megalith track marker, forest and sea. Here is our megalith deck, our two megaliths placed out, and the board megaliths. On our turn, er, on our turn, we can choose from three things. Either movement, which is diagonal movement, and up, down, right, left, or forward, backwards, actually, yeah. Jumping. This is jumping over... This is over your friends, so your own kind, over here, or on the other side, over an enemy, like this, I can jump, in any, even diagonal mode, yes, and you can never jump off the board, like, for example, I want, I can't jump like this, yes. We have the summoning, which this is your village here, and this is your first row. You can summon people from your village to your first row. These are white dotted, so you can summon in the white summoning place area, so this here, and the other side is the black summoning area. And if you choose this one, then the other player has to do the other side of the action, or choosing that other action, but yes, so I think you get this. Now, here we have this weird tile, which means if you have two of your species, or kind, in a row, and there is a third one in either side, or even like diagonally, then you can banish that person, and of course, flip the card. And the banishing means putting them back to the village. So the sea goes back to sea, forest to forest. The other side of this card is if it's in the middle. So, for example, if it was like this, I could banish it. Even diagonal, any. So, yes, this is the game. And you can build megaliths if either one of your people moves to the other side, to the other village. So, Forest moves C and C moves to forest. Then you choose one of these two megaliths. Here you have the megalith powers. Choose one of these two and place it on an unoccupied space on the board. Yes. Or you can, and then if you build a megalith, then you move this one space up. And you can also build Megalith down if you banish another person from the board. Yes. So, Megalith moving is like this. For example, this is means move a Megalith any space. And you can activate Megalith only when you step on it. So, yes. Move Megalith one space, anyone. I can move this one, any direction, this one, or this one. If you move a megalith, you, or swap, then you leave the person where it is, and move the megalith away. 
if it's being swapped, then you swap the two. And you, yes, you can only place a megalith on an unoccupied space. And for the megalith activation, you can, if you move on a megalith, you activate it that turn at the end of your turn. And then it's the next player's turn. But if it's about this card vanishing, then for example, let's say we have this here. It was here, I move here, use this moving action. Then I can't use this action on the same turn. And yes, the one first person who builds three megaliths first wins the game. See you and bye.